Hi guys, welcome back to The War Guy. And today, uh, we're going to be talking about a war that not a lot of people know about unless you live in a, an English-speaking country. And now, if you're watching this, you live in an English-speaking country. So you probably already know, but that is the Falklands. This is the Falklands. Welcome back to The War Guy. I'm your host, Ali Sagnall. And like I said before a lot of stuff happened in the Falklands. However, we're going to start off in the 1900s. The 1900s, uh, World War, two world wars happened, and during that, Argentina came into uh, the Falklands and took it over. What happened next was Britain came down, and Britain came down and said, hey, don't you see that, didn't you see our plaque we left here saying these are our islands? And Argentina said, yeah, right, this is our islands, but the British kicked them off anyway. Uh, and now the, the island is in British hands. However, the president of Argentina uh, said that he really was like, he was in a lot of trouble, trouble. So what did he decide to do? He decided to start a war so that, so that he could become famous. And he declared war on Britain in 1987 or something. And What happened? That that thing was the the worst idea for him ever. So what happened was he uh, he dropped troops and took over Falk the Falklands. However, then Britain came and they set up camp uh, in the northern region. So this is the Falklands. Okay, say so this is one island. This is the next one. This island here. They landed here and made their way. Okay, let me do it like this. They landed here and made their way this way, uh, and they split their army into two, and going that way. This one made to the second island and got to its capital, and finally made it to the capital of the of the place, which was I don't know. And the other army made it up north to the other island, where they met with a large group of Argentine soldiers, and. And that battle ended in a draw. In that river place here, they ended up having quite a bit of battles. And throughout all this, uh, the air forces of both sides would come, would fight with each other a lot. And the navies would also fight. And yeah, so. Uh, no, no. Um, and they may, so basically in those battles, a lot of, like the the Argentine soldiers would fight would fight against a small numbers of British groups. However, the British would come out victorious with a few casualties with only a few casualties. Whereas the Argentine soldiers took many casualties. Eventually, they, the British took the capital and the Argentines, and then they managed to they took the capital, took over half of the majority of that island that the capital is on. The Argentines made an offensive, but they were pushed back. This entire island and the majority of this was taken at a decisive battle, like here, and the Argentines pulled out and surrendered. That is the Falklands. Now, uh, I'm gonna so please go check out my sister's channel, Elephant Girl Twenty Four. Subscribe to this channel and go check out my friend's channel, The Korean Historian. Bye.